Welcome back to Darkwood. I believe it's day 19 and it's time to deal with the Sal situation. Once and for all, I've already dealt with most of it, but we ran out of time. Time to go back, but before that, I just went in here after turning off the generator. Time is still paused. And I noticed there's all this goop here, so I'm going to get rid of it, but I also noticed this chest here. And that reminded me, we have a key to a chest, don't we? I wonder if it's for this chest. Uh, no, it's not here, it's in the journal. Keys. Yeah, chest key. The one we got from the cottage, where the person attacked me, calling me a thief. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Finished up the torch. Aha! Uh -huh. Interesting. What are the chances that body over there would have that key? Hmm, that watch would have been good a long time ago, but now it's pointless. I guess I'll just sell it. And then just some other odds and ends. Okay, I'm gonna go pack those and then I'll meet you at the pig shed. Okay. Here we go, so let's get this thing up and going and see what this does exactly. Oh. I need a cable to repair the cable. No, I thought, I thought they would just tie it together. Alright, um, I gotta go back home then. I'll be right back. Alright, here we go. So we gotta repair this, and I think we gotta turn on the generator and flip the switch. Ooh, what are they holding? Almost looks like a shotgun. Could have been dangerous if it was. I'm gonna turn these off to save power. Assuming that actually does save power, I don't know. Okay. Some of them run through the door to the outside. There's a lever and a red button on the panel. The motion range of the lever is limited by a provisionally attached plate. A note is glued to the casing. Set the voltage using the lever. The lock is set to a voltage that paralyzes the sow for a moment, around 15 seconds. Procedure. The lever operator positions it in the middle. The feeder gives a sound signal. The operator then pushes the button and the feeder feeds the sow. Repeat until the feeding is complete. Remember, the sow is our common good. Do not remove the lock. So, this, this is the lock, right? God, so that's for force-feeding it. They paralyze it by shocking it. And then they force-feed it. That is disgusting. God, this poor thing. So it paralyzes it for around 15 seconds. I'm just thinking, I wouldn't want to, but I'm just thinking, would that be enough time to go to it if I wanted to pull the lever and run to it and I don't know what I would do but I don't think that's enough time and I wouldn't want to do it anyway it looks like if I remove the lock it'll send more voltage to it and probably kill it that sounds like a I guess a relatively okay way to go better than me throwing molotovs at it or just shooting it a bunch of times with a pistol let's remove the lock yep Position the lever down. Machine is set to maximum power. Push. Ah, it sounded horrible. It didn't sound like it died that fast, either. Let's go look. Oh. 
Oh, wrong way. Oh. I think I heard a dog in the woods. Also, I just noticed there's a crate here. Wow, that takes an exceptionally long time to search. Nothing too exciting. Any others? It's kind of hidden under the hay, I think. Or whatever that bedding is. Let's put a light on. it's dead. I'm really scared to get near it though. It looks like any of its feet. I mean, it doesn't even look like it's capable of walking. Its feet are just spikes. It could just impale me in a, a second. Oh, I can grab more meat. Well, I guess I can uh, deliver that to to um, the little musician. Should I get closer to it? There's a body. Oh, that's the person that got killed by it, right? The person who got the cables? Ugh. It's so terrifying. Single shot pistol. Hmm. I wonder if they intended to put it down, but died before being able to do it. Well, maybe these notes will illuminate it. It's time for my piggies to go to bed. The great big mother piggy has said so. Uh, has said, so I will count them first to see if all my piggies come back to me. One little piggy. Two little piggies. Three little piggies. Looks like a happy face person with a shovel and a bunch of dead people burying them. Some crosses in the ground. Graves. <laughs> Little piggies down here. And the number 57? Hmm. Did the other note have numbers on it? I wonder if it's even possible to kill it without using the electricity. Um, let me check my... Can I check the notes that I've gotten? The Madman Scribbles one? Aha, uh -huh, look at that. 19. That's definitely a passcode. So, 1957. But... A passcode to what? They're placed back at the village. Did it have something that needed a passcode? Yes! There was a chest that needed a passcode, wasn't there? I remember I was thinking about whether I can break it. And I thought, I can't because there's no health bar, unlike with doors. Okay. Yeah, so we need to head back to the village. I need to head back to the village. Um. Oh, but also I want to go to the silo. Do I have time? I mean, the village time stops when I get into the village, so sure. I just don't want to accidentally give the key to the little musician. But surely I'll have a choice in the matter, right? I just want to give them the meat, just to, I don't know, see what they say. Okay, um, I'll meet you at the house. We'll regroup there. Okay, it's getting a little bit late in the day, so I think I'm going to avoid going to the silo. That's also also motivated by the fact that I accidentally cooked the meat, so I can't give it to the little musician anyway. <laughs> Whoops. So let's go over. Um, I'm bringing my red egg to show the chicken lady. Let's try that first. I'm thinking it's probably just a consumable that gives you some 
as of yet unknown effect. But we'll see. And I hope, right, I hope nobody here knows what I did. Please don't try to kill me. Hi. What do you need, poor soul? Hungry, eh? I'd give you some stew, but what good will it do? Lord Almighty. What does that mean? Gossip. Poor Hanuska lost her mind. Um, oh no, we've already heard about this. The abomination. Yeah. Okay. So, nothing about the egg. In that case, we have no way to find out what the egg does other than just eating it. Your sight is better. Your lungs are more efficient. Oh. So it's like a superfood. Interesting. I wonder what your sight being better actually does. Does it allow you to see in the dark, or...? Oh, it doesn't last too long, either. Looks like maybe 20 seconds. Okay, let's check out the passcode over here. I forgot their name. Yep, needed a passcode. Uh, so what was it? 1957. Wait, what am I doing? 1957. Ooh. It is useless after firing once, though, so it's, it's not really a good shotgun. Just a single shot. Although it looks like a double barrel, so maybe a single shot's actually two shots at once. Probably super powerful. Photo of the sow. Molotov, some rope. Ugh. Oh god, it's all painted like a lovely portrait. That's so disturbing. If they're feeding it, then it, it must be paralyzed right now with electricity. What a time to take a portrait. Okay. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking... I'm gonna try to go in that room. Myself. With the quote-unquote abomination. Okay. I hope I don't regret this. Don't mind me. <laughs> a sheet and a few pair of war <clears throat> sheet and a few pair of worn clothes. <sighs> Looks like some steam to help it. Fuck in the hell the noises it makes. Oh, 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 do I want to take the fabric off? That's actually kind of clever. It's just, it's just presented as a fine sheet of fabric you loot, but I'm pretty sure that means I would take the fabric off. Um, hmm, hmm. Pile of crumpled pillows and pillowcases. Looks like someone has slept here. me, I'm gonna do it. Hi. C 
Cover me, please. Shit, I'm... I'm sorry. Okay. It is rather terrifying, and obviously in a lot of pain, but um, it doesn't seem violent, so that's good. I was worried it would try to eat my face. Hmm. Do I... S not the inventory. Do I still have the key? I do still have the key. It didn't use it up. Same with the chest key. So I could still give it to the fox. Or the... The wolf, I mean. Which I guess I have to, because I'm not giving it to the little musician. And apparently I can't do anything, so... Duh. Okay. Yep, nothing happened. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Whew. There is one place left that I'm curious about here, but I don't really have any good way of entering it. And that's the, uh, the place with the basement in the village. Where, like, all the blood tracks lead down to, and it seems to be where they process the pigs. I want to check that place out, but... I mean, it's locked and it's a metal door. So I don't think I'm getting in there. Could see if I could open it with this gas tank, but I'm pretty sure between the explosion and the gunshot to activate it, I'm pretty sure the villagers will know about it. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna head to the wolf and I'll see you in a second. Gossip. Bravo, meat. No more squeals. <laughs> Suddenly the wolf slaps me on the cheek. I can fucking hear the pitiful sobs of old wretches and the pleas of peasants begging their beloved forest to bring back the sow's life. Poor fuckers have no idea I'll be the only one to hear their cries. <laughs> the wolf bursts into laughter. Okay, that's not exactly why I killed it, but... Alright. This is music to my ears, meat. Their lamentations make me calm. Finally, I'll be able to sleep soundly. I bet they'll attempt to break through the wall of trees. Oh, such a shame that I can't breathe in their desperation up close. Me, just one more thing. Say hello for me when you're in the village. Send them my greetings. Received item hotbar upgrade. The wolf checks his pocket, his paw trembling with excitement. He takes out some item and throws it to the ground. Here. God, you are a disturbing person. Tell the village that... <laughs> the wolf sends their regards. Should I do that? Can I tell the chicken lady or something? I wonder how they would react. I'm sure they would know him. I mean, they would have to know them to some degree because they know about the person locked behind the door, right? There's gotta be some relationship there. Here's the key. As I produce the key, the wolf's pupils widen with excitement. Well, meat, I didn't think you could succeed. I'm impressed. Time for your reward. You'll find that quack thief here. But he locked himself away from the world and he won't let anyone in, so I don't know if this information will be of any use to you, meaty. What the fuck are you looking at? I promise that I'll tell you where to find him, and I did. Did I tell you you'll be able to get there? That's something else, isn't it? <laughs> the wolf bursts out with laughter. Now get out of my sight, meat. I have important business to attend to. If you're interested in continuing our wonderful relationship, look for me in the northeastern edge of the old woods. I predict a tasty future together. Wolf sinks his hands into the deep pockets of his coat. Here. Deliver this to that insane old bitch as a way of thank you for her beautiful sister. Um. I really don't want the wolf to have that person. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh. Oh. The wolf throws the head of a chicken under my feet. As I lift my gaze, I realize that the wolf is gone. I was about to... Damn it, I was about to think. Maybe I can kill them right now in here if they've told me where the person is, where the doctor is. That's all I need them for, right? Shit. Shit, shit. I wonder if it's too late. What if I go back to the village right now? These are locked, right? Yeah. I don't know. Six, six, six. <laughs> it was worth a shot. So wait, what did they give me? They gave me the upgrade, they gave me the chicken head. Anything else? Wait, where's that... Where's that hop bar upgrade? Didn't they give me a hop bar upgrade? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Hmm. I really don't like this. Um, let's check the map. I just realized I didn't pay attention to where they said they were going to be in the old woods. Was it the northeast? I think it was the northeast. I can check back on the recording. Actually. Where did they mark where they are? The doctor. Didn't they say they marked it? I don't see the marking. Did they give me a map or something? I'm double confused. Okay, before I head back to the village, let's take a look at our journal to see if that illuminates what happened maybe a little bit better. Chicken lady's brother. No point in reading that, really. Strange boy. I already know about that. The key, yep, local doctor's photo. The boy with the violin recognized the local doctor in the photo given to me by the chicken lady. He claims he's a good man. He was supposedly helping the villagers. He helped me too. And then he snatched my fucking key. Alright, the key for the wolf. I decided to give the key to the chicken lady's room to the wolf, as agreed. He told me that I will find the doctor in the northeastern part of the old woods. Oh, okay, so it's not circled on my map or anything, just northeastern part. Unfortunately, the doctor doesn't let anyone in. I will need to find a way to make an appointment. Chicken head. The wolf gave me a dismembered chicken head. He told me to give it to the chicken lady as a thank you for the wonderful sister. I don't know what he means by that, but it can't be good. The wolf's disappearance. The wolf didn't want to talk to me anymore. He grunted that he had something urgent to take care of and rushed off. If this wolf brain thinks that he'll get rid of me so easily, then he's mistaken. He mentioned he'll be staying in the northeastern part of the old woods. This is where I'll find my companion. So are they... So if they're in the northeast, and also in the northeast is the doctor, they're both in roughly the same place, I guess. Okay, let's go to the village and see if anything's happened yet. I'm a little bit scared. Do I really want to give her the chicken head? I mean, she probably wouldn't take too kindly to that. Alright, well, she's still there. Gone. Shit. Wedding ring? I don't... Was that there before? I don't think so. Well, this should be an interesting conversation. Um... 
Oh, Lordy, what curse has fallen upon us? Sweet mother, what devilry! One day Yannick goes missing, the next my sister disappears. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. Mister, have mercy upon me and find her. Mother Mary, I don't know what I'm going to do without her. All by myself. Okay, so she doesn't know that I did anything. Good. I can still help her f find her sister. Is that really her sister? Well, because it doesn't particularly matter. Because I want to find her. Um... Do I want to show her the chicken head? That might, um... That might be a bad thing, you know? Um... There? Jesus almighty, my little darling. What have they done to you? This is a bad sign, mister. A bad sign. What will happen now? I'm very grateful for the fact that nobody seems to blame me for anything. I'm very glad. Okay. Just wants me to help her. I can do that. I guess perhaps I'll find that person... in... maybe the wolf's camp? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Is there anything left to do in the village? Aside from the one place I want to look at, but I don't have the key for. Let me just go check it out one more time. Okay, I want to try something, and I'm going to be a little bit cheap with it. Because if it goes horribly wrong, I'm just going to load my save game. Uh, I went down and up the well down there to save the game, because every time you do a transition like that, it saves. I want to see... A couple things. One, can I blow up metal doors using that explosive canister thing? And two, if I shoot an explosive canister in this person's house, is everybody in the village going to try to kill me or something? Those are my questions. So I don't particularly care about the rest of their house. I know, I think they're sleeping. We're trying to sleep right now. I just want in the basement. So. Let's try this. Gas tank. I really can't get all that close to the door. Right... there. It's as close as it's getting. Okay. Okay. I guess the racket of that person banging out there is loud enough to <laughs> cover up the sound of a gunshot and an explosion. I think I see them in the bed through that little sliver of light. Oh yeah. Yep, they're just twitching in bed. Alright. Um, it looks to have done nothing. Nothing at all. Yeah, the health bar is unscathed. Okay, so those explosives cannot open metal doors. Um, we got a little bit of time till it's completely dark. I'm curious. I, I, so I know I can't go go to the uh, old woods this way through this burned house because it's locked. Although I don't remember if it was a metal door or not. If it's wooden, I can break it. But I want to see if I can just walk through this way. I don't know if I've ever actually been up here. So let's just go straight up and just see if we can go there. I know I went up here a little bit, that's why I've got these little, like the broken truck and whatnot, and this little bit of a pathway exposed, but I don't think I went up enough to see. Whoa. I think I just heard a dog. Still there. Oh, it knows where I am. I think we're okay. Oh, 
have I not been to all these logs? Not like I exactly need more nails and wood. Seriously, I have so much of them. It's going to come in handy though when I move to the next hideout in the old woods. It's going to be a lot to fortify. Okay, so I came here. Location found bridge. Okay, so I have not been up here. And there is a bridge to cross to the old woods. Is it crossable though? I would be surprised. Vehicle. Exhaust pipe. Interesting. Note from the truck. The truck wrote me a note? How nice. And a mag. Nice. Population list. I wish the whole thing was translated. Well, I have a date, 1975. I see a bunch of people grouped into... Are these people's names? Like families, I think. Teresa Osmola. Marta Osmola. So I guess these are families. Groups of families. Some marked with... X's and check marks, that can't be good. Wonder if this is like a truck that carried the dead or something. Or transported sick people. Oh! That one's gonna burst. Oh. I thought I could walk under it. Oh, I just realized it's getting really late, huh? Okay, so that is totally crossable. We can totally get to the old forest that way. Yes. Okay, let's run home. I'll meet you back at home. Couple minutes from nighttime. Got this door barricaded again, and I had enough scrap to make a chain trap that I put here since they seem to really like coming in from here. I've also got the single shot shotgun on my number five on my hotbar, now that the hotbar is bigger. Ooh, this thing can get quite accurate, huh? I think it's even more accurate than the pistol. I think it is. I certainly... Yeah, it's more accurate and it gets accurate much faster. If one comes through here and gets stuck in the chain trap, then I'll probably use the shovel against it to save on ammo. Yep, they love that door. Well, let's assume that they don't get stuck in the trap, so I'm just going to keep my pistol out. Uh-oh. Poltergeists. See that one out there, right there, staring in. Ran away. Spirits? Spirits. If this one's blinking, I assume that means, yeah, it's gonna turn off.
the sense of relief I get when that crescendo ends and it says day whatever is amazing. Ah. I think we have a lot of reputation with the trader now, huh? Yeah, 779. I could probably make an axe or something. Uh, but anyway, that's something to ponder for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And, when I return, for the first time, we are going to head to the old woods. <laughs>